What's up guys? Welcome back to the Fig Heel YouTube channel and today I'm going to be going on a little fig hunt. I am looking for the new WWE Mattel Target exclusive Legend Series 10 figures. I got Vader, I got Cena, both were demolished. The Vader had weird paint marks all over it. Look at this Cena. I'm keeping these mint on cards, so I can't have this in my collection. I don't even know what they did, what they mailed this to me. It's absolutely destroyed in ways that I don't even know how they figured to get these flaps out. Uh, it's, it's very strange, but I need another one, hoping we can find a replacement of this Cena. Let's see what we find. First stop, Target. They were stocked with all of these WrestleMania elites. They had Drew McIntyre, Ultimate Warrior Legends figure, Eddie Guerrero, Paul Orndorff. They even had a Nikolai Volkov, but no Ted DiBiase's, which I'm still on the hunt for. Bunch of Eddies, bunch of Orndorffs, and a couple of those Ultimate Warriors, which I'm surprised are still on the shelves. Um, man, these Goldbergs and Chinas are really plaguing the shelves in my local area. Over here, I noticed that they had some of the new Space Jam figures. Um, I was a big fan of Sp the original Space Jam with Michael Jordan. I'm not crazy about LeBron, but I really thought that these figures were awesome. I love how they tried to stay true to the original figures in the sense that, you know, it's, it's LeBron and he comes with another character, a ball. They have individual ones that have actions. They even had this Stretch Armstrong style LeBron James figure. And there's a couple other things that I found on the hunt that I'll show you later but it was really cool to see those. Over here at the Jurassic World stuff, they had the Dennis Nedry set, which I thought was really cool um, with the Jeep and the Velociraptor. The figure's awesome. Um, I, I know that they, they had the exclusive before, that was really cool, but this this miniature one's absolutely awesome. They had this uh, Pteranodon, Pteranodon or whatever, I, I, I'm bad at pronouncing these, but uh, the Amber one's really cool. Came over here, nothing in the Batman section, nothing Ghostbusters, uh, Fortnite. I really wish that Jazzwares would improve the distribution of AEW figures um, to the point that they have with Fortnite. Like, you can't go to a single store without finding Fortnite figures on the shelf. So it'd be nice to have that for the AEW stuff. Over here, I noticed that they had the Shang-Chi Legends. Um, pretty cool. Uh, I noticed that only Shang-Chi has the uh, um, Build-A-Figure piece, whereas she does not. Uh, Really not sure if I'm gonna see this movie or not. I'm not I, I like the, the Marvel movies, but this one just doesn't really interest me too much. However, the merchandising is what's making me curious because there's so much merchandising that it makes me think that this movie is gonna be actually excellent, um, better than it than I would assume. So I might check it out, it might not. Came over here and they had this Joker. I love these, these red box Joker pops. They also had this Batman over here, which is pretty cool and we found the Robin the other week. But nothing really over here, so we go over the pop section and they were stocked with ultimates and such like that. Really cool to see. Um, they had the Stan Lee. Came over here, they had Chucky, Ghostface. Um, they had some uh, Pamela Voorhees. They had the Christmas Gremlins, which is a little bit out of season. Jason's, they had everything, Hellraiser, It. You name it, they really had it here. The only thing they didn't have that I was looking for was the ultimate Stand. ghost face, but I'm Stand. sure we'll find that somewhere. There's Dilbert, Richard Simmons, we got Deadpool, a couple Masters of the Universe pops. A lot of stuff here. Um, over here, just skimming around. Nothing was popping out, but it was just cool to just come and check everything out. So we're going to move on to the next stop. First Walmart of the trip, noticed that they had some more Shang-Chi. They had these action, action figures, the 12-inch style ones, which are pretty cool. Um, I always loved those for the Marvel figures. Anytime that I got stuff for my nephews, I'd always get those because kids love those really big, larger-than-life style figures. 
And scattered way away from the Shang-Chi figures was the, the bow staff, oddly enough, way away from it. Um, they had some of the new uh, Toy Story stuff, Halo, Fortnite, but I noticed a lot of wrestling figures and all of these Power Rangers, which I've talked about before, they had the Black Ranger, Red Ranger, Blue Ranger, and even the Pink Ranger, um, were the head flips. I used to have them as a kid and I love that they're bringing them back, the Mighty Morphin ones. But look at all these figures on the shelf. Nothing we need that I can see automatically. Um, there's Otis, Tucker, Rollins, Drew McIntyre, Owens. Uh, they even had some Tony Storms. They had the WrestleMania Fiend, which I remember when it first came out, I was searching all over for it and couldn't find it. Now I can't get rid of it. Um, Undertaker, Tucker. The Tucker head looks great on this basic, might I add. Um, they had some Elite 81. There's Roman Reigns. A lot of stuff. Beast mode. Um, they were absolutely stocked with wrestling figures, which is awesome. Bunch of AEW belts, AEW rings, but no AEW figures. I'm really, really hopeful that as it, distribution improves, I'll be able to find some more of these chases and these rare figures from the AEW line. There's Andrade. They even had Ricochet. The whole WrestleMania set, all of the basics, the whole 81 set. But again, we've seen these so many times. Is it really anything new that we need? Over here, um, they had He-Man stuff, but I noticed they had Magic the Gathering cards over here as well as Pokemon. I know that cards are really hot right now, but I don't know what's what and I don't know what's good. So I kind of just left them there. Wasn't going to mess with them. They had some Battle Cats. Uh, the other day I was in here and I got a Panthor, the flocked one from my buddy Fig Vault, but looks like they sold out of all the other ones. Uh, nothing really else is popping out to me. So I left the aisle, turned, and I noticed this end cap of wrestling figures. 1597 for the elites. They had King Corbin, Dusty Rhodes, Drew McIntyre. There's Edge. There's another Drew. The Corbin is awesome. I just don't think I'm going to get it. Here we have a Chase Edge. Um, we've been finding these a lot more than the, the regular Edge, oddly enough. Uh, over here we have Sasha Banks, which I think is probably her best head sculpt on a figure so far. Uh, you know, it's just in my opinion, they had China. No Michael Hayes, I don't think, that I noticed. Um, there's Roderick Strong, Goldberg, and a lot, a lot of um, the same old guys. But it was cool to see an end cap, and I think this is mostly because they had a massive influx of orders come in. Um, here's regular Edge. I just said we don't see it that often because we don't. We've been seeing the Chase a lot, but there's the regular Standard Edition. Um, yeah, a lot of cool stuff. So we're back at Big Lots. They usually never have anything, but I figured it was worth stopping in since we were right in the area. And I noticed they were still plagued with these AJ Styles figures. They must have had another 23 of them. Absolutely insane. I can't even comprehend how they got all these. This is from Series 101, and we are way past that at this point. Very strange, but I noticed down here they had the $25 Walmart exclusive Gray Skull Mania ring with the... Terra Claus, Triple H, and John Cena. Really awesome. If you don't have this, definitely check your big lots and pick it up because $25 is a great deal. I remember I paid $50 retail initially. All right, another day, another Target. And I noticed that they had the Dr. Ian Malcolm uh, Amber collection figure. Awesome, awesome figure. I can't even believe this is still on the shelves. Um, I, I would imagine that collectors would want to eat that up because it's a great looking figure. Uh, very cool stuff. They didn't have the Dennis Nedry set, which I was surprised. Um, I was kind of debating getting it the other day and I don't really want to go down the Jurassic World uh, loophole. They had this launch and dunk uh, Space Jam set, which I used to have a very similar set with Michael Jordan and Bugs Bunny back in the day. And that just brought me back seeing that. But unfortunately, we found Heenan's 
I was hoping they were all out of my area, but they're not. There's Undertaker, Roman Reigns, Tucker, Otis. The Otis is great. And here's what we came for, John Cena. Um, I really wanted to replace that damaged one I got, and these look great, but I think I'm gonna take this one right here. There's no creases, no bends. Um, looks great, so we're definitely leaving with John Cena. Over here, they had more Shang-Chi merchandise, the bow staff, the gauntlet. Uh, crazy how much merchandise this has. I can't even comprehend it. But uh, nothing else, really. A lot of the shelves were pretty bare over here. Um, nothing on this U-boat. I was hoping there was some AEW, but nothing. More Jurassic World stuff. Very cool sets. Um, these must be selling like hotcakes because they are absolutely everywhere and they don't last long from what I see. Over here, the ultimate section, the pop section. Not many ultimates, um, but here's another Shang-Chi, uh, Wen Wu. He's got a Build-A-Figure piece for the uh, Mr. Hyde, which is absolutely awesome. If anything, I would want to buy this whole set so I can build him because it's just a cool figure and he's absolutely huge. And I have butter on my fingers, so I'm dropping everything everywhere. Uh, huge pop wall here, which I always love to see. Uh, as you can see, they got the, the McNuggets. They got the Office Pops. There's Deadpool. A lot of Star Wars. Um, this is a... He's like a back backyard griller uh, Deadpool, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, there's some Spawn stuff. There's my John Cena. Ash versus Evil Dead. More Shang-Chi. But uh, we're definitely leaving with John Cena. Back at my favorite Target, but unfortunately they didn't stock. They still have tons of WrestleMania elites. Becky Lynch, Paul Orndorff Legends, Paul Orndorff, Drew McIntyre elites, Edge, China, Goldberg, the usual suspects. Very disappointing. Um, I noticed that they didn't have much He-Man, but they did have a couple different um, Space Jam figures. Came over to the Jurassic World. Uh, no Nedry, no Ian Malcolms. Uh, but over here, I wanted to take a look more at some of these LeBron James figures. So this is a LeBron James figure with the rocket on his back. Very similar. A lot of the, the original Space Jam ones had those rockets and different things that could shoot basketballs. So I, I really, I'm really digging this line. I know I've said it a lot in this toy hunt, but it, it's just, they're new to me. So I, maybe that's why it's new and exciting. I came over to this aisle and they had even more. So here's that, that launch and dunk. There's some more Shang-Chi stuff. Uh, they had the Stretch Armstrong style LeBron, uh, some turtles here, Power Rangers, nothing. Everything was kind of scattered all over the place. I don't know. Here's Roadblock. I don't know who's stocking the shelves at this Target, but thing, you have no idea what you're going to find in any aisle because things are just thrown everywhere. Over to the pop section. Someone recently asked me about this TMNT shredder box. I don't know what it is. It says that it's a Triceraton. Um, vinyl collectible art so i'm guessing it's like just his head i'm not sure but someone asked me if it was a shredder mug it's not it's a collectible vinyl don't really know what it is i debated opening it up but there was a worker right there and i didn't feel like hearing them uh over here they had phantom of the opera and the mummy reaction figures i can't even believe that's a thing and that there's a market for that but i mean i guess because they're old school monsters and people love that stuff over here we got uh Tales from Outer Space, uh, Back to the Future, more Deadpool figures, but Dilbert, yeah, nothing really popping out, unfortunately. They had that zombie Thor, the Joker, Batman, here's some more Masters, the Grizzler, uh, Cobra Khan, China, but we're getting out of here. At least we got our John Cena, so we're going to go home and check it out. All right, so there we have our destroyed Cena ripped open. We were able to replace it with this minty Series 10 Legends John Cena in the orange and blue. He's got the Vince puppet. We've got the Vince puppet. He's got the debut head, the more updated longer hair, an old style WWE mic. Very, very cool. Um, young John Cena, young John Cena. It says, John Cena, WWE Champion, World Heavyweight Champion, World Tag Team Champion. Before he was a 16-time World Champion, before he was the leader of C-Nation, and before he was the doctor of Thugonomics, there were two words that separated a young John Cena from the rest. 
ruthless aggression. Almost 18 years after he smacked Kurt Angle to launch himself into superstardom, John Cena inadvertently revisited his roots in the Firefly Funhouse match, match at WrestleMania 36. Great match. I love Bray Wyatt, so obviously I needed to have this. Um, we have Vader, we have Brutus and Diamond Dallas Page on pre-order. They're online only. As of right now, who knows if they'll be in store. Um, so keep checking if they go back up. Pretty decent fake hunt if you ask me. I'm happy with it. Let me know below what was your favorite thing you saw and what was your favorite thing you found on a fig hunt this week. Um, hope you guys liked this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at figheel and at unreleased wrestling figs. And if you like our content, go over to TikTok and follow us at figheel. We got a lot of cool content, original content that you'll only find there. And we're having a lot of fun, a lot of interactive stuff. So get over there and follow us. Don't forget to check out the Unreleased Wrestling Figure Coloring Books, Volumes 1, 2, 3, and 4, as well as Color Mania, which features the first three volumes for a discounted price. And go to ProWrestlingTees.com slash FigHeel for all your merchandise needs. Have a good one, guys. Take it easy. Peace. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, at FigHeel, and at Unreleased Wrestling Figs. And you can visit the merch store at Pro Wrestling Tees and check out the Unreleased Wrestling Figure Coloring Books, available now on Amazon.com, including Prime Shipping.